Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Some words have double meanings. One example is the word right. It can mean correct, or the opposite of left. Sometimes the culture can come up with new slang, and change the meaning of a word. Back in the 1970s, the urban culture rejected the word cool, and started calling things bad. So bad was good? No, bad was cool. We see the same thing happening with the word agenda. Agenda, used to simply mean an itinerary. A list of action items, or a to-do list. But now, the most common use of the word agenda, carries with it rather nefarious undertones. It almost feels like it should be preceded with the word hidden or secret. We find these secret or hidden agendas everywhere. Sometimes it's just a conspiracy theory, and other times it's a legitimate conspiracy. So how do you tell the difference? Documentation Who is the source? If they are telling you that a friend of a friend of a friend told them, that's gossip. It's always best when you get the information from the original source, straight from the horse's mouth. I say all that, to preface this particular video, because most people will categorize this video as a conspiracy theory, as soon as I reveal the topic. And yes, it's on the creation evolution debate, but I'm a guardian, and that's what we do. Our job is to bring you evidence of creation, versus the misinformation of evolution, that is being force fed to the kids in all levels of education, from kindergarten to college. So this video is going to touch on a rather bizarre tactic, being used by the Darwinian atheists, to keep the theory of Darwinian evolution being taught in our schools. If I didn't read it for myself, I would have had a hard time believing this one. So track with me here. The Darwinian atheists are afraid that the school system, and the court system, are going to figure out that atheism, is a religion. Combine that, with the fact that the schools and the courts, are also beginning to realize that the theory of evolution doesn't hold water, now the Darwinian atheists have a problem. If the schools and courts ever put two and two together, and realize that the foundation of the theory is atheism, and atheism is a religion, then that means that the Darwinian atheists, are teaching unfounded and unscientific religion, in the school system. That would be the death nail for the theory of evolution. The theory would be outed as the subversive agenda that it has been from the beginning. It's not science, it's an excuse. It's something to point to, when you don't want to acknowledge the reality of creation. So what is this new hidden agenda, being proposed by the Darwinian atheists? It's rather strange, but they are promoting theistic evolution. That's right, theistic evolution. Theistic evolution is the idea, that God created the universe, but he created it to evolve. Many people have fallen prey to this theory, but it is wrong for two reasons, two very big reasons. Number one, it defies science. And number two, it defies the Genesis account of creation. So how does it defy science? The so-called mechanism of Darwinian evolution is, time, chance, random mutation, and natural selection. Every biological scientist knows that's a farce, but they keep on teaching it. They keep on studying biology and chemistry, hoping that someday they will find the elusive evidence to back up their favorite fairy tale. The second law of thermodynamics keeps tapping them on the shoulder, and reminding them that the universe is ruled by entropy, not wishful thinking. Not to mention that Darwinian evolution is built on the erroneous and laughable theory of abiogenesis. Abiogenesis teaches that all life evolved by itself, from a rock, from non-living chemicals. And then number two, it defies Genesis, because Genesis says that God created the individual kinds or species. It does not say he created bacteria, and over time it turned into humans. So what is the proof of this secret hidden agenda? Who said what? The documentation is quite extensive but I will give you just a couple quotes from some of the leading professors of the movement. In 2000, British-born Michael Roos, an ardent Darwinian atheist professor wrote, that creationists can quote, absolutely embrace the theory of evolution. They are completely compatible. Unquote. But in 2006, 
he expressed concern about the Supreme Court allowing intelligent design into the classroom. To avoid that, we must form strategic allies, through theistic evolution. Unquote. Next we have journalist Chris Mooney, who used to teach that the theory of evolution and creationism are oil and water, they don't mix. Yet more recently, he has expressed the opposite view. When asked why he flip-flopped, he expressed the concern over the court system viewing atheism as a religion, and Darwinian evolution being construed as their dogma. Then lastly, we have the more open and brazen opponents of creationism, such as P.Z. Myers. He stated that, quote, we need widespread stigmatization of religion, to eradicate religion. Unquote. Well at least Myers doesn't camouflage his agenda. So the cat is out of the bag, and the agenda is no longer hidden. Hidden agendas don't last long in the age of information. But you must remember their motivation. The fear is that the school system and the court system will recognize that atheism is a religion, and Darwin is their pope, and evolution, is their theology. And since the Darwinian evangelists have always worshipped at the altar of separation of church and state, their agenda, will be burned at the stake. So to placate the unwary creationists, and maintain the status quo, they use the tactic of theistic evolution, to promote their agenda, under the guise of unity. But theistic evolution is heresy. Scientific, and theological, heresy. It is not the best of both worlds, it's a mustard milkshake. Some things, just don't go together. So rather than being a point of unity between science and Genesis, theistic evolution is simply a Trojan horse, being employed by the Darwinian atheists, to infiltrate the camp of the creationists, to undermine their faith in the Genesis account of creation. Go figure. Peace be unto you in your house. Fight the darkness with light. Fight the lies with truth. Expose the hidden agendas.